Windows 11 is the newest version of Windows, and it marks a big departure from Windows 10 in terms of design. Under the hood, though, the two operating systems are very similar. We've compared Windows 11 and Windows 10 point for point in order to answer one question, should you upgrade to the latest Windows OS? If you're wondering if Windows 11 is any good or if updating to Windows 11 is worth it, this comparison is for you. We will run down the biggest differences between Windows 11 and Windows 10, including how the Windows 11 2022 update changes things. Windows 11 versus Windows 10. What's new? Windows 11. Although Windows 11 looks like nothing more than a reskin of Windows 10, the operating system packs in a ton of new features. There are relatively small changes, like a new start menu and taskbar, as well as some defining features, like support for Android apps on Windows 11. Better design and features, Windows 11 makes a big visual departure for Microsoft. In the new operating system, Microsoft centers the taskbar and the start menu on the screen. This makes it look a bit more like Mac OS and Chrome OS. However, you can still move it back to the left if you want. But if you want to pin your taskbar to the right or the left of the screen, then we have bad news. You can no longer do that natively, as in Windows 11. The taskbar only stays on the bottom. Paid third-party apps like Start 11 can change it if you want, however, Start menu and taskbar. If you're looking at the differences between Windows 11 and Windows 10, the biggest ones are the start menu and the taskbar. Starting with the start menu, in Windows 11, it is a bit more simplistic. You only see a stack list of apps, followed by your most frequented documents on the bottom. Critically, live tiles are gone in Windows 11, which makes the start menu look much tighter. Improve gaming features. If you want the best Windows OS for gaming, Windows 11 is for you. Recent Windows 11 updates included optimizations for running games in window mode, and it supports features like Auto HDR and Direct Storage, an upcoming feature that helps games load in less than one second. Some of these features, like Direct Storage, are available on Windows 10 as well. Microsoft has made it clear that gaming is a big focus for Windows 11, so it's the better platform for gamers now, especially with some of the performance bugs worked out. PC gamers are updating to Windows 11 in droves, so that's a good sign. Performance. Windows 11 is great if you care about performance. Microsoft talked about the performance benefits and optimizations in Windows 11 in a YouTube video. According to Microsoft, Windows 11 does a lot of work in memory management to favor the app windows you have open and running in the foreground. This should ensure that they get more CPU power over other system resources. Windows 11 also suspends some data and RAM while your PC sleeps, helping it wake from sleep 25% faster than Windows 10. Microsoft has added performance improvements since launch, too. In February, Windows 11 received an update that boosted solid-state drive SSD speeds. For example, Windows 11 is snappier than Windows 10 but the differences are small in real-world use. The various optimizations in Windows 11 help it to run faster on weaker laptops, but you're not giving up a ton of performance with Windows 10. Collaboration and remote work You can use Windows 11 or Windows 10 for remote work, but Windows 11's collaboration features are much better. It supports background blur, eye contact adjustments for meetings, and automatic framing none of which are present on Windows 10. Upgrading to Windows 11 Upgrading to Windows 11 is a simple affair, but you might be apprehensive if you've been sitting on Windows 10. As we lay out in our video on how to install Windows 11, most PC can upgrade from Windows 10 for free through a simple Windows update. We strongly recommend going this route to avoid malicious Windows 11 installers that can surface in search engines. Microsoft has completed the Windows 11 rollout, so any PC with supported hardware can upgrade for free. You only have 10 days to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10 after updating. After that, you'll need to do a clean install, Erase all your data to downgrade. If you're the technical type, you also can try to dual boot Windows 10 and Windows 11 with little risk. System requirements and compatibility. The only hurdles to upgrading are the Windows 11 system requirements. You'll need a recent processor from Intel 8th generation or AMD Ryzen 2000 processor in support for TPM 2.0 on your system. TPM is basically a hardware security processor in modern PC. Nearly all desktops and laptops support TPM 2.0. Windows 10 doesn't have this restriction on custom PC. You can technically install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, but we would recommend doing it. Microsoft could stop supporting systems that aren't certified for Windows 11, and you might not get critical security updates anymore. If your computer is more than four years old, there's a good chance that it's not supported by Windows 11. That might be the deciding factor between it and Windows 10. 
Dubs, Windows 11 has seen its fair share of bugs. While the much older Windows 10 is more stable, Microsoft has been quick to fix issues with its latest OS. Though, we've seen a bug that creates thousands of empty folders in File Explorer, as well as a bug that would massively slow SSD speeds. At one point, Microsoft recommended against one of its Windows 11 updates, and the OS has seen numerous issues with AMD processors. Microsoft has fixed all of these problems, but it's safe to assume that Windows 11 will present more bugs than Windows 10, even if Microsoft is quick to address them. Is Windows 11 worth it? Windows 11 is worth the update for most people. It comes with a wide range of new features, performance improvements, and design changes. As the latest Windows OS, it usually gets more attention than Windows 10, too. There's not too much risk in upgrading to Windows 11, either. With some playing, you can easily uninstall Windows 11 and go back to Windows 10. And with the latest update available, it's never made more sense to give it a shot. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.